This is a review of the Insta360 X3 and its top 8 best features, including a hidden feature that could be a game changer. And even if you're not looking for a new 360 camera, I have two new things for Insta360 shooters. Okay. When we think of action cams, we think of GoPro. Nick Woodman invented this category of cameras 20 years ago because he wanted to do what he loved best. Nick was a surfer and his dream was to be paid to surf by being a sponsored athlete. To make his dream come true, he needed shots of himself. So he pioneered the camera that was small and had a wide angle that would put the viewer right in the middle of the action. And the rest is history. Now GoPros are amazing, but when you shoot videos, they somehow don't look nearly as good as the promo videos that they show. Now, of course, they have amazing athletes, but a large part of it is because it's missing Nick's original vision. Now, remember that Nick invented GoPros to shoot videos of himself, but these promo videos were shot with a camera crew. And that's a big reason our shots will never look as good as those of GoPro. But that all changed in 2017. Now in 2017, we started seeing a different kind of action cam. These were invisible flying cameras. They had better stabilization than any GoPro could be capable of and could capture an extra wide view that no GoPro could do. Not only that, but they captured Nick's original vision of getting amazing videos of yourself. And they did this through an invisible flying camera effect that looked like there was a cameraman shooting you. Best of all, 360 cameras could let you shoot first and point later, which lets you enjoy the moment with your family and friends instead of being worried about getting the shot. Now, although 360 cameras revolutionized action cams, they introduced two new problems. First was editing. Most people didn't want to see a 360 video where they had to swipe across the screen to follow the action. So 360 shooters had to choose the view for them using a process called keyframing. Now, keyframing is fun, but it does add a little bit of extra time to your workflow. Second, 360 cameras are fragile. They have lenses exposed on both sides. You drop it and chances are you're going to damage the lens and you'll have to replace the camera. So with 360 cameras were so fragile, could they really be considered action cams? Well, that's where the Insta360 X3 comes in. By the way, if you found any of this video helpful, 
please hit the like button. I've got a small channel and it really helps. By now you've heard of the X3's key specs. Slightly larger half inch sensors, a large touch screen, 5.7K video, 72 megapixel photos, waterproof to 10 meters. The specs are good but not really mind blowing. But the really interesting feature of the Insta360 X3 is Mimode. It lets you get that third person view without keyframing. Like for example, at the beginning of this video, I showed you several clips. All those were shot with the X3 in Mimode. During editing, all I have to do is select all and export all. No keyframing needed. I also like how easy it is to switch to me mode. Let me show you. So right now I'm in single lens mode. Let's say I want to switch to me mode. All I have to do is swipe here and then tap the screen. I'm in me mode. So let's say I want to switch back to regular single lens mode. I just swipe the screen and then tap the screen. I'm in single lens mode. Now let's say I want to switch to 360 mode. All I have to do is press this button and it switches to 360 mode. Switch back to single lens mode, just press this button. It's so easy. Now, if you're an experienced 360 shooter, you're probably already familiar with something called direction lock. Well, let's take a look at the difference. Now, because I'm shooting in direction lock, then the camera's view constantly faces me, even if I don't keyframe the shot. Now the problem is when I dip the camera below the horizon, see what happens. Now the camera flips. That's because when the camera is below the horizon, the lens that's facing the screen is now the front of the camera. So if you find yourself having to shift a lot between above the horizon and below the horizon, then you're probably going to end up doing a lot of keyframing even with direction lock. Now let's see how me mode is different. This time I'm going to be shooting with me mode. So just like direction lock, I don't have to keyframe and the view constantly remains on me. Now what happens when I dip below the horizon? The camera's view is still toward me. And it's stabilized too. So even if I twist the camera, the view still remains on me. And that's why I love me mode. It realizes Nick's original vision, his dream of trying to get videos of himself doing amazing things. But if you don't have keyframing, won't the shots look boring? Well, I challenged myself to shoot a mini video just using single lens mode. Here, take a look. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy, and I got three. bad ones, and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's Five. in the whip, we left the ass. Can't remember anything, but I know we got late, 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 late. Good times. Living the moment, feel like summertime. Obsessed with nature, not the world mine. The room is spinning, but I feel fine. Oh, my, oh, my. Chandelier limousines. So, B Mode solves the first problem of 360 editing. What about the fragility? Now the cool thing is that solving the first problem also solved the second problem. Have you figured out why?
See, the real problem isn't that the glass is fragile. I mean, all cameras use glass and all cameras can break to some extent. The real problem is that with the 360 camera, you couldn't protect the lens. If you put anything to protect the lens, it would show up in the video. But with B mode, I realized that that's not a problem. You could put something here and it wouldn't show up in the video. So if I put this lens cap, for example, halfway over the lens, just like that, it can protect the lens while still not showing up in the me mode video. So this is how I was able to protect the lens at the beginning of this video. But if my makeshift cap falls off, then the lens can get scratched. I'm hoping that Insta360 or a company like Yulanzi can make a secure frame that can protect the lens in Mi Mode. Just interestingly enough, Mi Mode has other advantages. First, you can shoot at up to 60 FPS. Now, the nominal resolution is 1080p, but I found it has similar detail as a reframed 5.7K video. Another potential advantage of Mi Mode is that in scenes with wide dynamic range, Shadow details can look brighter because the sensor doesn't need to encompass the exposure of excluded areas. Now, Mi Mode is just one of the X3's top features. Here are others. Active HDR is an improved version of HDR video. With HDR video, camera shake can sometimes make highlights move independently, ruining the shot. With Active HDR, Highlights will look normal, even with camera vibration. So Active HDR is a really useful feature. Now, can you use Active HDR with Mi Mode? And the short answer is no, not, not yet. But there is a workaround, and it also answers the first question of what else do I have for existing users? See, there is a way to simulate Mi Mode. Let me show you. Now, right now, I'm recording in active HDR, but I'm going to pretend that I'm shooting in Mi mode and I'm going to put this cap on. The trick is that in the Insta360 app, you can use tracking to simulate Mi mode. When I activate tracking, then I can put the camera in any direction, up or down below the horizon, and it's still okay. So if you have another Insta360 camera, such as the 1 inch 360 or even the 1X2, you can simulate Mi Mode using this technique. I do have another tip for existing owners, stick around. X3 also got rid of the dreaded red dot flare. It also has much better audio quality with 48 kilohertz sampling. It can do 8K time lapses. It has a new Clarity Plus filter. It has tempered glass lenses. And X3 will also have a pre-recording feature so you don't miss special moments. Now there's one more new feature. This one will be available for any Insta360 camera. It's an automatic keyframing feature that uses AI to analyze your video. Look out for an app update that will add this feature. So the question is, should you buy the Insta360 X3? Let's start with eliminating the usual suspects, starting with GoPro. A lot of people have been waiting for the next GoPro Max, but there's reliable information that GoPro's next two cameras are the Hero 11 and the Hero Mini. Neither of those are 360 cameras. Of course, the Max will continue, but there are two significant advantages of Insta360 cameras over the GoPro Max. First, Insta360 cameras have external audio. So if you want to use them for vlogging, then Insta360 will give you better quality audio if you use an external microphone. Second, only Insta360 cameras let you edit without having to download the video to your phone first. So that's going to save you a lot of time and storage space on your phone. Which Insta360 camera should you get? If you care about convenience, and being waterproof, I recommend the Insta360 X3. On the other hand, if you want a camera that can be upgraded in the future, you can get the Insta360 ONE RS. There are two of them, 
there's one with the 360 mod and then there's the one inch 360. Now between the two, the one inch 360 has much better image quality, especially in low light. And as we learned a while ago, you can simulate me mode with these cameras as well. Now, if you want to learn other tricks for your Insta360 cameras, check out this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in 360.